your girl T here back with another Tuesday video. I know you guys are having a beautiful blessed day because your tea timers is what we do. Our affirmation of the day is I am stepping into my power. We're stepping into our power because we're tea timers. We're powerful beings. I am a manifestation coach and I will help you get what you want. I've added that in now for y'all for anybody new who doesn't know what's up. Let's get into it. I am going to do as promised with the Tea Time Tuesday video and answer subscriber questions. I only have a couple because I'm pretty quick at answering them as we go. But when I see a theme in the subscriber questions, I'm going to answer it as one question. So essentially, the question that I received today was if my, this is just, and a general example, but it was it was about ten questions that all were that all were alluding to the same thing. So it was something along the lines of I've been in no contact with my SP for let's say two years, and we finally are starting to talk again, and now they disappeared. I don't know what went wrong. I feel so depressed. I feel so anxious. I feel so upset and hurt that they aren't contacting me anymore. This is a, a perfect example of what I keep talking to you guys about, about looking, focusing your attention on what you don't want as opposed to what you do want. So you've been uh, in no contact with your SP for this amount of time, they text you, you get excited. You're like, oh, my manifestation game's on point. It's working. You get hyped up. Then you guys have uh, a couple of exchanges or maybe you talk for a week or two, things are going good and all of a sudden they disappear or your thoughts start kicking in and you start thinking, oh, are they talking to other people? What's our status? Are we boyfriend, girlfriend? Are we girlfriend, boyfriend? Why are they not saying this that I affirm? Did I not do this affirmation right? Or you go into hyperdrive with affirming yourself to death and doing it even when you don't feel like it because you think if you don't keep manif or if you don't keep affirming, you're going to lose your SP. You're going to lose your SP. You're going to lose your SP. If you don't affirm enough, you're going to lose your SP. That's called putting the manifestation technique on a pedestal and your real, true, genuine thought and feeling within yourself is that if you don't do this, you're going to get a negative consequence. If you don't do that, you're going to get a negative consequence. And the what you're actually focusing on when you feel like you're affirming robotically, you're actually just focusing on the fact that there's a possibility you're going to lose what you've manifested. And you're also focusing on the fact of this is such a delicate balance that I have to keep because my SP could leave me at any time. My SP could leave me at any time. I didn't have them before and now I have them. I've got to walk on eggshells so that they don't take off on me. What we affirm doesn't always manifest if our feelings are somewhere else. It's like if you're in a relationship with someone, but you're secretly in love with someone else and you're focused on that person that you're in love with, but you're robotically in a relationship with someone who's better for you or who's good for you, but your heart is with that other person that you're looking at. That's what's happening here in this three-way that you're doing. You're affirming for your SP, but your heart and mind is focused on the fact that they're disappearing out of your life, that they're not going to be with you, that there's a chance that they might not be here tomorrow. You have to focus and prioritize what you want as opposed to what you don't want. You guys are affirming perfectly. You're doing everything right. You're just putting all your focus onto the possibility of the negative. But there's another possibility, the positive. You guys are focusing on the story of what might be rather than the story of being a strong, confident, powerful manifester. I say my SP's with me. I know my SP's gonna be here tomorrow. This is just the start of our beautiful communication. I did that. I had them communicate with me after two years. That's fantastic, look at how powerful I am. They're gonna be here tomorrow because I say they're gonna be here tomorrow. I'm fabulous. They know I'm fabulous. That's all they need to know because I can have anyone out here in these 3D realities and I've chosen them. They're so lucky. They show me how lucky they are. They always show up for me consistently, easily, effortlessly. They're my boo and I'm their boo. We have a beautiful, harmonious relationship as opposed to 
they're constantly contacting me. They're constantly contacting me. Oh my God, they haven't called me yet. They're constantly contacting me. They're constantly contacting me. They're constantly contacting me. And in the in your mind, you're going, oh my God, are they gonna are they gonna text me? Are they gonna text? I am not making fun of you. I've been here. I've done it this way, the hard way. I've done it where. I've been worried that my SP is going to disappear at any moment, but I'm affirming like a parakeet. But I'm also, my dominant thoughts in my head are, please contact me. Please stay. Please don't disappear. You've disappeared before. Are you going to disappear again? Scrap all that. We need to be confident. All that attention you're focusing on when and where and how and the possibility of them leaving, that needs to be focused on what you want and how it's showing up. Not, sorry, not how it's showing up. That's the wrong way. What you want, don't worry about how it's showing up and what is going to happen next. My SP loves me. My SP is only focused on me and only me. My SP is head over heels in love with me. I always get the SP of my dreams. Everyone I want wants me 10 times more. What I desire desires me more. I'm a powerful manifester. Love's easy for me. Money's easy for me. Life's easy for me. Everything gets to be easy for me because I say it is. I get what I want because I say I get what I want. I've always gotten what I've wanted. I've always had healthy relationships. I've always had positive relationships. Money's always been easy for me. Money's always flowed to me easily and effortlessly. Everything I do, I'm successful at. I'm perfect at everything I do. My self-concept's always been perfect. Only my positive thoughts manifest. Love's consistent for me. Money's consistent for me. Life is consistent for me because I say it is. I am a powerful manifester, so my rules apply. I say what goes. Nobody else does. I am so good at ignoring 3D. 3D is garbage. I only focus on the 4D and I get what I want every time. My 4D is what creates, not my 3D. I am perfect and chosen the way I am. Hey T, you're amazing. You're a powerful manifester. Look at all the stuff you manifested, good or bad. It's good that only my positive thoughts manifest now. It doesn't matter what it looks like out here because I've already proven to myself that I can get what I want. And starting today, I'm always getting what I want. My SP is showing up for me consistently, strongly. They're doting on me. They're amazing because I say they are. I'm amazing, so I tracked amazing. Do you see what I'm doing there? I'm just going on a little bit of a back and forth with myself, and I am proving to myself that I can get what I want, and it shows up every time. Y'all have this ability. It's just called thinking the thoughts you want to think, focusing on what you actually want as opposed to what you don't want, and keeping your mind on track. This is a diet we're doing. When you're doing a diet with food, there's temptations out there. There's sugar, there's sweets, there's salty. Whatever cravings you have, there is something to fill that. But you choose to eat those carrots every day. You choose to eat those lettuce greens every day. You choose something healthier for you because you know in the back of your mind you have an end result that you want to hit and that's where you're going. Or if you're super strong at manifestation and you know what you want, you might manifest every time I eat I get skinnier or every time I eat I get more slim thick or it doesn't matter what I eat, there's no caloric value to it. I eat whatever I want and I still get the body of my dreams. But traditionally when you're doing a diet, you eat the healthy foods and you see the results after a couple of months. You don't eat a carrot and drop 50 pounds right away. That's not how our brains are wired. We are taught that if we eat healthy, our body will lose weight. Same thing with manifestation. You persist in the thoughts that you want, the outcomes you want, the feelings that you want, and you will get what you want. But if you put more weight on a story of what you don't want as opposed to the story of what you do want, guess what's going to happen? The story of what you don't want is going to come to fruition. You guys have this. You got this. You know how to manifest. You don't need a million videos a day. You know what you want and you know how to get it. Now go out there and get it because we're tea timers and we always get what we want. I love y'all, but not as much as y'all should be loving yourselves. Have a beautiful, blessed Tea Time Tuesday. And tell yourself nice things today, especially in the mirror. It's super powerful. Stand in the mirror and tell yourself 10 things. And then go get what you want. You know it's easy. You know it's doable. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye-bye.